So I've been dog sitting and uh, I've only talked to a dog all day and uh, I use a different voice when I talk to the dog. Clemmy, are you gonna cook for mommy? <laughs> it's 6 a.m. I wanna go back inside. Um, so uh, you guys, I was um, walking the dog and um, it, I picked up her poop. You guys know, do you guys have dogs here? Anyone have a dog? You know how you like, you have to touch the poop like it's through the bag, but you still have to touch it. And you get to feel its temperature and its <laughs> weight. <laughs> what she's been eating is the two socks, oh God. Um, and I just got used to carrying her poop around, you know? And one day I was carrying it um, as we're walking and I was holding the bag of poop and my iced coffee. And I went to take a sip of the iced coffee and the bag of poop um, kind of grazed my cheek and it was really hot. <laughs> and I just had a uh, dental work done. Um, so it was actually pretty comforting. <laughs> Uh, so, I don't know what it is, but throughout the week, her poop kept getting softer and softer, and uh, the, ne the last day, it left this smudge on the sidewalk that I just couldn't get up, and immediately, this little ant ran up to it and was like, looked like it was jumping for joy. <laughs> and then a second ant ran up, and I was like, oh man, the ants are gonna feast tonight. <laughs> I felt like I was doing some philanthropic work. Is that how you say that word? Like philanthropic? It feels like a strain. Um, this guy knows. Like, uh, <clears throat> so you guys, since I moved to New York, um, I've had a lot more people ask me where I'm from. I don't know why that's trending, just to guess that. Um, and I'll tell them I'm from Ohio. Uh, thank you. And um, when they find out that's not in Europe, uh, they get a lot less interested. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm from Ohio. I'm actually from Cincinnati, Ohio. Thanks, guys. And if you're wondering where that from, where that that is exactly, um, it kisses the cousin of Kentucky. Um, it tickles the balls of Indiana. <laughs> um, and I grew up well, not in the cornfields part, but the big city part um, with a, in a mixed religious household. Um, my mom was Catholic and my dad was Episcopalian. And I still don't really know what that means. <laughs> um, the next part, I'm supposed to sing a song, but I don't feel like it. Um, so I'm just gonna move on. Uh, you guys. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you know, my name is Anne, my friends call me Annie, but when I um, go out, uh, my pronouns are apparently ma'am. Uh, but they're actually she, her, it, and Crystal. And my love language is live, laugh, leave me alone. Um, so it's a miracle that I found love. You guys proud of me or? Thank you. And I just want to clarify that I fell in love with a human man, uh, not a plant, <laughs> which is less celebrated. Um, but yeah, it's actually my first time falling in love. Uh, thank you. Before this, I really had to fake it before I made it. Um, I did uh, gain a freshman 15, so I am chubby now. I do have a muffin top. Am I hiding it? Can you guys see it? Or am I I'm not hiding it? Or can you? I'm, it's fine. I, I have been dieting, okay? I've been dieting. I'm actually on this new diet. It's called Starving Myself. I'm just kidding. It's actually called Intermittent Fasting. So basically what it is, is during the day, I'm allowed to have um, blueberries, 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 coffee, water, ibuprofen. And when the sun goes down, I binge eat McDonald's. <laughs> I feel like you guys can tell I've lost a lot of confidence. I just want to be a thin person again and do what thin people do. You know, like, I don't know, 
or be an actor or like ride a, bi a regular bike up a hill. Um, you guys, I actually, um, I recently discovered how awesome e-bikes are. Are you, are you guys familiar with the e-bike? Thank you. It gave me it gave me false confidence because I thought I could ride up a regular use a regular bike to ride up a hill and be fine. Um, and I tried one day and I was going so slow that this old man um, walked past me and he was on crutches. <clears throat> so you guys, um, my mom didn't want to admit to her friends that I had gotten fat and. Uh, so she just told them I was pregnant. And I actually did skip a period, so I was a little worried. Uh, I finally took the pregnancy test. Uh, it turns out uh, I'm Jewish. <laughs> it's a 20 grain B joke. You guys get it? Or... Uh, so you guys, um, when me and my boyfriend met, um, I told my mom right away, which was a mistake. Um, but I told her that he was ethnically, ethically non-monogamous, and she felt sorry for me. And I was really confused. <clears throat> and it turns out I was saying it wrong. He's actually ethnically ambiguous, <laughs> uh, which is completely different. Um, he's 25% black, because I got him off the black market. Um, He's also a uh, part Spanish, like the kind from Spain, not the kind from Mexico. Um, I, my geography's bad. Uh, and then he's part Sephardic, which I like to tell people because it has my favorite word in it, fart. <laughs> uh, so you guys, my boyfriend, he's part black and he's part Jewish, and his grandfather was also part black and part Jewish. And you know what Hitler said to his grandfather? He was like, get to the back of the oven. Okay, that's really funny to me, but you guys, you guys are tired. Okay. Um, so my, I actually didn't write that joke. My boyfriend wrote it in the second grade. Uh, which is when his joke writing peaks. <laughs> so if you didn't laugh at it before you can now, because it was written by a seven-year-old mixed race boy. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so you guys, I'm uh, pretty kinky, uh, especially when I'm tired. Uh, there's this thing I like to do where I just lay there and then I let the guy do all the work. And he has to pretend like on a dead body. <laughs> That's the kinky part of it. Um, but you know, my boyfriend's also pretty kinky. Um, one time he was like, and I want you to rub my meat lamp and I will grant you three children. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Um, okay, is there one more thing I can say? Um, I'm tired of saying that. Okay, I'll just tell you guys one more thing, I guess. Um, so me and my boyfriend wanted to take it up a notch um, and have a threesome. So it's it would be we decided to do it. Okay, it's, it'll be me, him, and his CPAP machine, and then I have to call him my CPAP. <laughs> um. And then we went to um, Sleepy Hollow for our anniversary. And we had a threesome there, for real this time, you guys, for real. You believe me? You believe me? It's for real this time. It was me, him, and the headless horseman. <laughs> because he's always wanted to skull fuck a jack o' lantern. <laughs> I didn't, he told me he loves Halloween, but I didn't know realize how much. All right. I, I understand if you didn't laugh at the end because I kind of stuttered on it, but it's <laughs> newer material that I'm trying to, uh, what's called memorize. All right. Well, this has been something. You guys, thank you. <laughs>